26-year-old Andrew Booth of Fargo is in jail charged with attempted murder after allegedly trying to run over a trooper with his vehicle. This is from the Ohio Patrol, quote, on Wednesday, October 14th at 8.24 p.m., a trooper attempted to stop a 2006 Honda Pilot on I-94 at mile marker 349 for traveling 95 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. The Honda was traveling westbound on I-94 when the trooper initiated the traffic stop. The suspect sped up to 105 miles per hour and fled from the trooper westbound on I-94. The suspect then exited I-94 at exit 348 50, or 45th Street. While taking the exit and turning north onto 45th Street into Fargo, the Honda nearly collided with several other vehicles. The suspect continued to flee north on 45th Street into Fargo. The trooper discontinued the pursuit for safety reasons. Shortly after the pursuit was discontinued, two troopers were conducting a follow-up investigation at the home of the registered owner of the Honda. One trooper was standing at the front door of the home speaking with the two residents of the home, while the other trooper was standing on the sidewalk on the driveway of the home. While this follow-up investigation was going on at the residence, the Honda showed up at the residence and pulled into the driveway. The driver of the Honda momentarily stopped, then accelerated rap rapidly, attempting to run over the trooper standing on the sidewalk. The trooper was barely able to avoid being pinned between two vehicles, but was still struck by the Honda. After accelerating, the Honda struck a parked Toyota Tundra parked in the driveway and came to a stop. The driver of the Honda was then taken into custody by the North Dakota troopers without further incident. The suspect is Andrew Booth, a 26-year-old male from Fargo. Booth has been charged with misdemeanor reckless endangerment and fleeing and has been charged with felony attempted murder. He was transported to the Cass County Jail and is currently in custody. The trooper was treated and released from a local hospital after the incident. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.